Hey, Dr. Dave Marquis here with another nutritional tip that I wanted to share with each of you because I talk to a lot of patients about glutathione and some people don't recycle glutathione well, some people don't make glutathione well. So I wanted to teach a backdoor approach to that. And that backdoor approach has to do with another compound called N-acetylcysteine. Sometimes you'll see it under the brand name NAC. Now, backing up just one step, why would somebody want to optimize their glutathione? Well, glutathione happens to be your body's number one anti-inflammatory immune modulator, and it assists in the body's ability to oxygenate itself. Every day, our liver is making glutathione, trying to keep up with all the garbage that we throw at ourselves. And our intestinal tract, it's designed to recycle this stuff. Theoretically, it should be an eternal molecule. You should make it and you should keep recycling it. So there's this oxidative reduction process where it just keeps bouncing back and forth. But most of us, you know, we experience life and that puts a lot of chemical and stress burden on us. And that can come in the form of things like formaldehyde, phenol, phthalates, PCBs, um, petrochemicals, um, alcohol, uh, the, the different medications that we take. All of that stuff has to get detoxified and eliminated from the body. Well, glutathione is there to the rescue. And that's really one of its main purposes, is to keep us functioning so that we don't get too much toxic burden. Be kind of like if you couldn't get anybody in your house to ever take the trash out. Pretty soon, it's gonna build up. It's gonna build up in your bedroom, it's gonna build up in the bathroom, it's gonna build up in the kitchen, and you're not gonna wanna live there. So you gotta find a way to keep this that you're living in clean. Glutathione helps to do that in a huge way. So, when you go on the shelves and you look at that, it can be relatively expensive because glutathione is not a stable molecule and the stuff that's usually sold on the shelf, really you don't absorb it that well. So just reduce glutathione or L-glutathione, maybe 5% of it you're gonna get into your serum. The acetylated versions, you really get a much better absorption ratio, upwards of 95%, very similar to what you'd get through the IV. And that's usually the way that I'll, I'll encourage people to go. But here's the point where N-acetylcysteine comes into play. Either for financial reasons, an individual can't keep up with the demand that their body has for that, or genetically, they might be someone who can actually take the precursor to glutathione and have the body make more of it on its own. And that's best case scenario, because N-acetylcysteine is not a terribly expensive compound. And it has other benefits. It has side benefits, if you will. So N-acetylcysteine, many people are actually familiar with the whole term now, and you weren't a year ago, cytokine storm. So when your body has an overabundance of inflammation being produced in a specific area, and we typically are thinking of cytokine storms relative to lungs and pneumonia of late. Well, you can use N-acetylcysteine as an inhibiting tool to mitigate the amount of inflammation that your lungs might experience when they're fighting an infection. And there's a lot of different studies supporting that. And I've got over 30 years of clinical use in terms of N-acetylcysteine and helping people with upper respiratory infections. It's very safe. The, um, the dosing range on that would be anywhere between one and two grams on a daily basis. Yes, I said grams. So that's 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams. And the body will then, if, it, if you're genetically capable, take that and convert it after it's done its job in other areas to help to reduce inflammation. It'll convert it into glutathione and you get a, it's kind of a twofer. You know, you, you can help one area of the body in one way and then it's gonna help the, the rest of the body in another way in a recycling fashion potentially. So in acetylcysteine, it's readily available. It helps with upper respiratory infections it helps to reduce cytokine storm. It's a precursor to glutathione, which means that it's gonna augment your body's ability to reduce inflammation. It's fantastic as we're going into the season where people would typically experience seasonal allergies. It really helps to augment anything else that you might be doing naturally to reduce your propensity towards seasonal allergy because it's gonna reduce all those cytokines. Those are all those immune 
uh, reactive cells or antigen presenting cells that go out there and kind of look for trouble. And so to the extent that you can keep them cooled and um, not so overreactive, you're going to find that your end result in terms of overall inflammation is going to be much less and you're going to enjoy life more. So consider that as part of your nutritional armamentarium. Think about, okay, I'm going to be using some glutathione, but I might be able to reduce my overall um, expenditures on a daily basis by having some N-acetylcysteine in there and you can actually toggle between the two. Now, I mentioned um, genetic predisposition and th that's a pretty easy one to look for, but you, you go over onto the transulfuration pathway and you basically look at all the genes from the, the CBS gene down, it ba basically all the genes that have to do with breakdown of uh, homocysteine on down into glutathione. So you've got all these glutathione S transferase genes. That would be the recycling group. And there's, there's a lot of different doctors within the functional medicine realm that can help guide you in that. So get to know your genetics. Get to know how efficiently your body can use things like this and recycle them. And then you could better allocate your healthcare dollars to be proactive in taking care of yourself. And the more that you know in this regard, the, the better prepared you're going to be for anything, whether it be seasonal allergies or the common cold or any other infection. Go empower yourself, look into this information, see how well it applies to you, and have a great day.